raindrops start to dry Even when the sun begins to shine again I'm taking all the advice there is and none of it has helped Experience has made me real Good morning, good morning everybody. Welcome to another daily vlog. Welcome back y'all. I've got my iced coffee. It's a good day. It's a beautiful, like sunny, 60 degrees outside. It feels so nice, but welcome. Okay, so I didn't vlog yesterday, but I'm vlogging today, and that's because we've just been hanging out with David's mom and dad. They've been in town, and um, it's been great to just spend time with family, and then we had church last night, but this morning we got up, um, and Grammy and Grandpa are hanging out with Mark, and I'm going to run some errands. I thought you guys might like to run some errands with me. Um, of course, first stop is always Panera to get my iced coffee. I love their iced coffee. Um, and so here's the plan. I've got to go to Kroger and get Nate's prescriptions ready. Also, there's some really good deals this week, and I haven't gotten Kroger deals in a while, so I want to go ahead and get those. I may also go to Walgreens because I've been wanting to get their deals and then just see if they have any more in stock since I went and it was a fail last the last couple days when I went. Um, so I may do that. So I'll show you guys if I get anything there. Also, Lucy's going to make a Valentine's box to bring to collect Valentine's in. Normally they just do like a paper sack or something, but this year they're trying to be more creative and let the kids, like it's not for the parents to help. So I'm really trying to stay back, but we came up with an idea or she came up with an idea and I just got to get the supplies for it. So I'm going to go to Michael's. We need a paper basket. They have these like little paper baskets that are like square and their Valentine's print, and we're going to make, I think she's going to do like a hot air balloon out of it. It's going to be really cute, but I've got to make sure I can find the supplies she needs. Um, she just needs a paper basket. Straws are going to be the sides of it, and then a balloon to sit on top. The only thing we're kind of worried about is it can't be more than 12 inches tall, and so we want to kind of see, and I see the basket, what they have at Michael's, and it's hard to tell online, like, what, how big it is um and so she's gonna like play around with it and see if it's gonna work if not we may have to go with something else i know there's lots of like easier routes we could take they even have little um like mailboxes at the store you can get and decorate but she really wants to do something more creative and i think there's going to be like prizes for whoever wins or like most creative and you know whatever so she's really excited about that so i thought i'd go into michael's and get some stuff for her um target also may have stuff i looked at hobby lobby's website and i'm seeing nothing like a little basket like a valentine's basket Dollar Tree sometimes too, but our val our Valentine section at Dollar Tree has been wiped out, so I'm not sure. So I'm going to do some running around this morning. I um, also thought about maybe going ahead and getting all of the kids' Valentine stuff together. I bought some stuff already, but I would like to do a Patreon video showing you guys what we got them for Valentine's Day. So if you need some ideas or whatever before the day. Um, and I've been trying to think about Patreon because... I've been slacking off on, I've been doing good on my weekly videos for all tiers, but like in terms of the perks for being a silver and gold tier, I'm just having trouble scheduling the lives. And when I do schedule them and not a lot of people come on because we all have such busy schedules and stuff. So I'm thinking about doing some more dedicated videos for the silver and gold tier. So maybe, um, giving them their own dedicated videos every week or month, as, however it works out. So if you have any great ideas on what you would like to see, if you're a silver or gold tier member, I'm just having trouble scheduling the Zoom, scheduling the lives. Um, and I don't know. I just don't know if it's something that you guys want to continue or if you'd rather have a different perk. So I'm, I haven't forgot about y'all. I'm still thinking, but we may put the Valentine's one up as like a test on the silver and gold tier and just see how it goes. And then maybe my gold tiers will get even extra content. I'm not sure what, but something good. I have a big bag of empties too that I want to film eventually. I don't know if I'm going to do that on my main channel or on the Patreon. Um, but anyway, lots of just running around today. And since Grammy's here, she can play with Mark and not him not have to suffer through going to the stores. That's, that's what, that's what uh, is plus about having grandparents in town. I wish they were in town all the time. Uh, we love having them here, but um, they're going home this evening, so we're going to miss them a lot, but I'm so glad they got to come even for a short time. So I'm going to go get moving and grooving. I'll carry you guys with me. I'll show you guys what I find, and uh, we'll just spend a little bit of time together today.
All right, you guys. So I just left. Sorry, the lights were out. I just left um, Michael's. They did not have the. I looked the other day and they had. It said on the app they had, or the website that they had some of those pails, but they are sold out now. So waited like a couple days too late. I looked at Target's app and they have a paper pail, but they are look big and we need it small. So I think I'm just going to go to Dollar Tree later after I go to Kroger, his Kroger's right here, and see if they have something that'll work. And if not a paper pail, we could do like a box, a small box and decorate it. Um, because we just need a square base. The paper pails were nice because they were already decorated like a Valentine's print, but they also ha had some kits in there, like make your own uh, Valentine box with like a kit, but it was like a poodle. I don't know if she would like that. And there was a robot. I don't think she would like that. So <sighs> anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go to Kroger next and then we'll see what Dollar Tree has. Music's kind of loud. I found these at Kroger, but they're like $7. I don't know. I feel like I can find something comparable or cheaper. They also have, where are they? These are kind of what they had at Michael's too, but I don't have as many options here. I thought it was worth checking out, but not exactly what I'm looking for. This is one thing I was looking for. They have chicken. Um, nuggets, wings, patties, all their chicken, $4.99, which is really great. So I think I'm going to get, you can get up to five. Make sure Nate's kind is on sale. I don't see, it's right here, but it doesn't look like it's on sale. So these ones in a smaller bag, my kids like, which I don't see. Also, these are really great for um, Dave and I, these grilled ones or the blackened ones. So I'm gonna get, oh wait, here they are. No, these are the fingers. Okay, the only ones I thought the kids would like were the chicken fries that were on sale. A lot of the wings are, but they don't really like that. And then I got some fajita ones for David and I. Oh, I'm just running into things. Um, also the DiGiorno pizza. Original price seven ninety nine. It's on sale for three ninety nine. That's an amazing deal. So I'm gonna get several cheese and several pepperoni. You can get up to five. Show you guys as I go. The chips are buy two get three free. So each one is five forty nine. So for eleven dollars, you get five bags. I thought that's pretty decent. Um, and then this I'm really excited about five ninety nine for this big thing of goldfish. I'm gonna get the colors. So that's what my kids like. They have all the flavors. Um, regularly at Walmart, these are $8.88. So five ninety nine is amazing. Right, I'm going to get four. They're good through October. They will be gone before October. I can get five. Maybe I should get five. $6 a piece. I mean, it's a lot of money. And it's been on goldfish. I'm just going to get four. Uh, but what a great stock up day this is for all the kids, like, favorites. Um, amazing. That was awesome. My subtotal was $64 and my total savings was $64, almost exactly to the penny. So 50% off. I'll take it. That's pretty good. I got four containers of goldfish, five pizzas, two bags of chicken, five bags of Doritos. That's pretty good. Um, and what I do is I keep all of those extra snacks in a separate place, like the garage and my cabinet in there, or even you could do it like in an extra closet or something under your bed. Because if I put five bags of Doritos <laughs> in the pantry, they would disappear very quickly. But only pulling out like one bag every week or two, it makes it stretch a lot further. So also I was thinking when I was in there, like a bag of Doritos, that would be perfect to put in Nate's basket, his Valentine's basket, um, and fill it up with some bigger stuff that I know he's going to like better than me trying to, I was going to get some little bags of Doritos and it was like, you know, two for a dollar for those little tiny bags. So what am I doing? Like I could just get a big bag for a little over $2 on sale. It'd be way more and it wouldn't be like this tiny little serving. So probably I will fill up Nate's basket with snacks that are special, but that aren't necessarily Valentine's. <laughs> like, so I think I'm going to go into Walgreens and just bite the bullet and just walk in there and see if there's anything. Uh, there's some really good deals this week and I have like some boosters. So I may run in there and then Dollar Tree 
and then I think we'll be good to go home. I didn't do amazing at Walgreens. I did okay. I mean, I did good. They didn't have all the deals I wanted, so it is what it is. Um, but I did get some things, and I'm, not, I'm still not exactly sure how it all worked out, but they had buy one, get one free Pringles. I'm just going to show you guys real quick. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff. Buy one, get one free Pringles, so buy one at $3.49, get one free, which is cheaper. I think at Walmart is the cheapest I can find, and it's like $2.50. So that works out to be cheaper. So when I hadn't got two, I'll probably put one in Mark's um, East, you know, Easter basket, Valentine's basket. This was three twenty, but then there was like a two dollar off coupon, so I got this for like a dollar, and I love this stuff. Dollar and some change. Let's see what else I got. Also, there was like a two dollar off coupon of this, so I got this for like a dollar. Normally, I don't buy these, but for like a dollar something, yes. Okay. Then these were on sale for $5.49. I love these. I got two. And I was trying to reach, if you spend like $25, you get an extra $5 in like home and food. And I'm not sure if I actually, I feel like I did, but I don't know if it came off. I'm still trying to look at my receipt and figure it out. But I got two of those and there was like a dollar fifty off. So still worth it. And then I got one of these. They were $5 with a dollar off coupon, so that's pretty good, and I love those. And then, I guess I did get a good amount of stuff. And then I got three of these. They were buy one, get two free, so $2.79 for all three. We're putting together packages for the homeless, and I thought I would donate the bags. So that's what this is going to be for, and I'll probably donate other stuff too. And then the toothpaste, if you buy three of these, they're $5 each, so that's $15. There's a $5 off digital coupon that brings it down to $10. Then if you buy three, you get an extra $5 off, which brings it down to $5. And then you get $5 back on your next visit. So basically $0. I mean, you are paying up front, but then you get this back. So all of this was $40 with tax and everything. I got $5 back for the next visit, and I earned, I thought I was going to earn more than this, but I earned $12.43, so it must have not triggered something. I feel like something is off, because I should have gotten 5 for the toothpaste, 7 for spending, like I had a savings booster, spend 20 I think I would get 7 back, and then also I should have gotten spend 25 on home and food and get $5 back, so I feel like I'm missing $5. But maybe I did. Maybe I added wrong. That's why I do like doing the pickups because you can make sure everything comes off. But the better deals are in store. So spent fifth. I spent forty and I got back basically twelve plus this five, so seventeen. So still not bad if you if you think of it like that, like a little over twenty dollars, and I got all of that stuff. Um, but anyway, not too bad. Okay. I know that if you don't do couponing at Wal uh, Walgreens, you're probably like, what in the world is she talking about? So that's why I tried to breeze through it. Um, but a lot of these, like toothpaste and stuff, I donate. And um, I always buy my laundry stuff here because it's so much cheaper. Then I'll use this next week. You have to be sure to use the paper ones quicker. Like this expires on the 22nd of February, but the Walgreens cash that you earn that I talked about, I earned 12. That cash is good for like a year. I have over a hundred dollars in Walgreens cash. The problem with it is, is you can't spend it. Like if you're trying to reach a, a threshold, like I was trying to reach $25 in home and food, you can't spend Walgreens cash. You have to spend actual money to reach that, which I guess makes sense. Um, so I'll use my Walgreens cash for stuff that isn't on sale or like is just on sale, but it doesn't, isn't a spending booster. Like the Valentine's candy right now is on sale, but I could still use my Walgreens cash on it. But if you're trying to reach spend 20, get $5 back, you can't use Walgreens cash. Is that clear as mud? <laughs> I promise I'm not good at explaining it. There are other people way better. All right. It looks like it's about to rain. I'm going to hurry over to Dollar Tree and see what I can get into over there. So I am done with the Dollar Tree. I thought I'd show you a couple things I got. I have no idea if this is going to work out for her hot air balloon. I'm still worried it's going to be too tall. Um, but I did find a kind of a cute basket that I think looks like a hot air balloon basket. It's actually an Easter basket, I think, but it doesn't scream that. So let me show you. It's all the way in the bottom of the bag. 
So they didn't have any paper straws. We're gonna use paper straws in here. And I saw a bunch online that were round. So what I was gonna do was square. But this is round and I think it'll actually look more like a hot air balloon because it's, big, you know, most of them are kind of squarish round, I guess. Anyway, I bought some balloons so we can try it out. Um, if there wasn't a height requirement, I saw some that had like big mylar balloons, like the ones in the Dollar Tree, as the balloon. I think that would be really cute, but we're trying to keep the balloon kind of small. I'm not sure how this is going to look because this basket's kind of big. So in comparison, the balloon needs to be big, but we can't have it longer, taller than 12 feet. This is, you know, four or five inches, maybe three to four inches. I don't know. So we'll see. I also got a bunch, three or four packs of these chapsticks for our basket, for our bags we're making for the homeless. I thought that would be good to put in there and three of them for, and I like this brand. We use this a lot. Um, I thought that'd be good to put in the baskets and I hadn't seen any yet at the church. I'm not sure if anybody else bought them. I got Nate a couple things for his at Valentine's basket. We got some or golden Oreos in a tube and the mini version. And then I got her a couple things to decorate her basket. If this doesn't work out, we'll use this for something else and I'll get her a shoe box or we'll do something else. But I saw these letters. I thought it'd be cute to put her name on there. And then I also got her some flowers because since this is kind of woven, I thought we could stick some flowers in there. We'll see how it works out. And then I've been looking for one of these ever since I found Lucy one for Valentine's Day, this exact one. They had like three different colors. And I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't buy myself one. And as soon as I saw them, they had they probably had a hundred of them when I first saw them and got her one. And then every other time I've been in here, they've been zero out. And I thought, darn it, I missed my chance. But they had like three of them today. They were all purple, which I'm fine with. But y'all, look how, I mean, for $1.25, it's a caboodle, but it's small, which I like. This will fit all of my makeup that I use on a daily basis. And I'm just so pumped about it. I can't show her this though because I don't want her to know that she's getting one and if she sees mine she'll be like I want one so I can't show her but anyway I'm gonna go home now um I'm still not sure about this Valentine's thing but we'll let her kind of play around with it and see what she thinks I don't and I also don't know like how strict are they going to be with this 12 inch rule I know that they said that because they don't want kids to bring like these huge ones in but you know, the basket itself isn't real big. It's just the balloon on top. So my girl's a rule follower though, and so am I. So we don't want to break the rules. So we'll just, we'll play around with it and we'll see. But I'm going to go back home. I've been gone for like close to two hours, actually over two hours. And so I need to get back home and see how everybody's doing. It's almost 1130. So I will see you guys back in a little while. You guys, it has been like three days since that morning footage. <laughs> It has been a while since the morning footage. Um, so let me try to, I was trying to like figure out how to end this vlog because I have this footage and I don't want to just, I thought about just getting rid of it, but it was a fun morning and it, there's some good things shown in there. So I don't want to just get rid of it, but I kind of dropped the ball with the finishing the vlog. Um, later on that day, we went out to eat one last time with Grammy and Grandpa. It was like this whole fiasco because we tried to go to Cheddar's. There's a lot of healthy options at Cheddar's. Um, that's why we picked it. They have like green beans and salads and um, broccoli as a side, different things. And so we thought that'd be great for me and David to go. And so we went there and they ended up being out of everything. They were out of green beans. They were out of like David's brother likes chips and queso. They were out of that. That's another reason why we picked it is there's stuff for him to eat. Um, then we ordered a bunch of salads and then they came back and said they were out of lettuce. <laughs> so we ended up leaving and going right back to Cracker Barrel, which we had been the day before with them. Um, I don't think I vlogged about it as I wasn't vlogging that day, but I had this grilled chicken salad that was one of my favorite meals out that I've had since I've begun, begun this. Just give me one minute. Okay. Um, the kids are going to break the door down here in a minute. Um, so good like this grilled chicken salad that I had at Cracker Barrel and they have this dill pickle ranch that I got on the side and just like dip my fork in so I just used a tiny amount of it but it was so good so we went back the next day and I think everybody kind of changed up their order but not me I got the same thing so it was so good so it was kind of like a long evening of um switcheroo of like 
you guys they were going to bust the door down. But anyway, that took a while because we were in Cheddar's for like probably at least 20, 30 minutes. And then I had to leave and they go to... Anyway, so by the time they left, it was around 7-ish, I guess, when they left. And y'all, I just felt so sad when they left. Mark was like, no, not again, when we were telling him goodbye. And it just made me feel sad, like... Our kids are growing up, you know, having to live away from grandparents, and it's just hard. And it kind of just, I don't know, I kind of just wanted to take some time. I just felt kind of sad, and I didn't want to bum you guys out on the vlog by vlogging sad. And, like, I didn't want it to sound like complaining. Like, we are really blessed. Our life is super blessed. But there are, you know, some times where you just feel kind of sad. And it was, like, one of those. So, um, you know, we moved here. It's been 10 months ago, something like that. And I still, in a lot of ways, am not adjusted to living here. I don't know why that is. I think we felt so at home in Indiana in short, such a short amount of time. Like, I can't tell you how much. And I don't know why. Like, I keep thinking, like, why did I, like, love that house so much? I don't know. Like, it's smaller than our house is now. I just loved the whole area we lived in. I loved our house. I loved our yard. I loved so much about our life there and like this small town. And then we, you know, we had friends. I had even a lifelong friend that didn't live too far away. And I don't know what it is. Like that truly did feel like home in such a short amount of time. And then we moved and the suddenness of it or something. I don't know. Like I still don't feel at home here. And I felt like we felt so at home there. I don't know. It's weird. And you know, we still haven't, I still haven't felt completely adjusted. And I think a lot of it was just like how fast everything moved. And like, I, because I'm the mom, I tried to like put my feelings aside and be strong for the kids, you know, and like, really pump up Arkansas and it's you know look at this house is so amazing and I just try to make everybody's space fit them and really excited about the school and all that and um it's been I think the hardest on me lately as like all of those um I don't know like that front I put up of yeah <laughs> amazing it's just kind of been like okay I think now I'm like healing from all the stress of it all and like really starting to process the feelings of moving and what's also been interesting here comes Layla she's like you're sitting on the floor I must come sit with you um what also has been interesting is processing emotions without eating um for so long, food was my drug of choice. It was how I got through hard things as I ate. And now I'm not doing that. And so like letting myself feel the emotions has been, it's been really weird because <laughs> my whole life I've, I remember like when I was going through my health struggles, like I turned to food. When I was going through the pain of being away from family and friends at college, like I turned to food. When David and I moved to Texas and I was lonely, I turned to food. And it's been like my way I cope. And so when I don't have that, it it's like I have to process it without it. And it's weird. Um, but I know like it will come. I hope it will come where this starts to feel like home. I start making more friends. We have a lot of people that love us here. Um, but, you know, a lot of my close friends are all over the country and also family, you know. So having Grammy and Grandpa here this week was so just nice to be able to have somebody that, like, gets it and, you know, helps out and someone I could talk to. It was just really nice. And so when they left, I just kind of felt sad and I didn't want to, like I said, vlog sad and like bum y'all out. So I just start, I decided to just take a little break. I haven't not had a video go up in honestly probably years. So I tried to get warn you guys on Friday night. Like, there's not going to be a video for a couple days and um, I'm sorry about that. But you know, I know most of, like so many of you guys understood. Um, and it was, I wanted to say, I will, I wish I could say it was like really nice to take a break, but, and it was to some extent, but I did miss the routine of vlogging. And so I'm just going to just try to jump back in there, even though there are still parts of my life that I still feel kind of sad about. Like I said, I think the 
we've had, like, if you look at the top stressors in life, besides, like, a death, we've had, like, all of them in the last year or two. Um, and so I think my body is just still trying to process everything. And, like I said, doing it without overeating and all of that has just been, it's been a new experience for me. And, um, anyway... I don't know if I don't want to drag this out any longer, but that's kind of what happened. I just felt kind of in a funk and I wanted to take a couple days off to see if that helped. Um, but honestly, I think you guys are an outlet for me and I like showing you guys real life. I just, there's times where it's like, this is too real. <laughs> if I try to vlog right now, I'm just going to be crying. Uh, but we really are close to our family. And so it's hard to be far away. It's hard to see your kids missing family and, um, you know. But, you should see this. She's like, why are you sitting on the floor? I'm just sitting on the floor to talk to the people, Layla. Like I said, it's going to be okay. I'm going to make friends. It's going to get better. <sighs> it just sometimes feels kind of lonely. And then, like, Friday night, we had Night to Shine at church. This also kind of made me sad. It was an amazing success. If you don't know, Night to Shine is like a Tim Tebow, um, uh, Layla, come here. It's it's started by Tim Tebow, and it's it's a special night where um, it's for teenagers and people with disabilities to like have a prom. Such an amazing thing. Um, Nate is too young; it doesn't start till I think they're fifteen is when they can start going to it. And so um, I had to stay home with the kids. I wasn't able to be a part of it, which you know, it just sometimes like. There are so many parts of my life that I am so grateful to be a stay-at-home mom. I am so thankful that I can be home with my kids. I would want it no other way. But there's a lot of times where I have to miss out on stuff because of that. Like, there was no other way around it. Um, everybody from church was involved in Night to Shine, but, like, I couldn't be there. And it just makes me feel isolated in a little bit of a way. It's nobody's fault. It's just the circumstances. And there's lots of times like that where, you know, there may be a get together after church. A lot of times there is. Well, I can't go to that because, you know, we have to keep the kids on a pretty strict schedule for school nights or Nate will be up till one in the morning. You know, we just have a different lifestyle and it's, it's okay. It's just sometimes it can be really lonely. And I only say that because I know so many of you understand and maybe you're going through the same thing. So I don't want you to feel like you're alone because a lot of times I can feel like, well, I'm the only one that is going through this. I'm the only one that, you know, our mind can play tricks with us and we can feel like we're the only one that's struggling. So I try to show like, no, it's hard. It's hard when you don't get to go to things or be a part of things because maybe your family is different or has different needs. But anyway, like I said, I'm not complaining. Like, I'm so blessed to be able to be at home with the kids, and I wouldn't want it any other way. But there are times where you do feel like, man, you know, I wish I could clone myself and be at more places and do more things and be involved with more. But right now, my first priority is my kids and my family. And um, we do the best we can to balance it. Um, but, you know, anyway that not to go off. I have like a slight headache today and I'm not feeling the best, but I wanted to end this video so I could edit it and get it up for the morning and just tell you guys I'm okay. Like I missed my weigh-in video. So spoiler alert, I lost like 2.3 pounds or something this past week. So doing really well. David's on plan with me, which has been great. He's just finishing up his second week. I think his first week he lost like seven pounds. He's doing amazing and we're just doing it. And, together and it's been going great. So nothing's wrong. Like I knew if I didn't post a video or a weigh-in video, people would be like, see, you failed. <laughs> I didn't fail. Like I'm still doing really well. Um, just took like a mental health break. We took the kids bowling yesterday. Um, I took a nap yesterday. Nate was up a lot in the night. He has been the last few weeks, just been up a lot. It's just that, that season, I tell you guys all the time, his sleep comes in waves. And we're in a kind of a rocky wave right now. So he was up, I think, 3 a.m. on Friday night. So I was pretty tired. We just cut some time off just to kind of relax and regroup. I read some books. But I did miss you guys. And I wanted to see show my face and tell you guys that I'm okay. Um, just 
transitions are hard. Getting used to a new everything is hard. New job, new church, new life, new school, <laughs> new house, new doctors, new dentist, um, new traffic, new mosquitoes and mice and all <laughs> that stuff. <laughs> um, but we're going to make it. And, you know, God opened the door for us to be here. We truly know that he is faithful and we can trust him even when we're like, you know, why are we far from family again? Why are we not having, you know, having more um, time with them? You know, I went through this whole thing of like thinking about my grandparents and, you know, as our Davis grandparents are still alive and as our parents get older, it's like you start realizing how time, how fast time goes and you don't want to miss out on time with family. But God sees all of that too. But anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering on. I love you all. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog, such as it is. Um, I'm back, y'all. I'm okay. And I hope you all had a great weekend. If you liked the vlog, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Definitely subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys tomorrow. start to dry Even when the sun begins to shine